Okay, but um, in the desert, you know, there's, what do they have a lot of in the desert? They have a lot of sunlight, you know. And uh, so plants don't uh, compete for sunlight out there. They, they compete for water. And so the creosote bush has got a very tiny leaf and a very waxy coating. And that helps conserve water. They, yeah, they compete for pollinators, okay? There's not that many pollinators in the desert, considering all the flowers. So the creosote bush has got a yellow flower. Now watch, remember this, and, and next spring, watch the flowers. When the flowers are laying flat like that, they haven't been pollinated. <clears throat> and so they reflect a lot of light. The insects can see. As soon as they get pollinated, the flowers turn vertical, the petals turn vertical. And they don't reflect the same amount of light. So now the pollinators aren't going to waste their energy going to a pollinated plant. They know they're not going to get any pollen there. You know, or, so it's, it's kind of interesting because stuff in the deserts are extreme. You know, so they take take extreme measures to get pollinated. You know, for for all of the aspects of life in the desert, they all compete for water. They can, they don't compete for sunlight. They do compete for pollinators. You know. You'll see a lot of this stuff around, the yellow flowers here. This is rabbit brush. I just bring it up, it doesn't really have any uses, but other than the, the botanical name helps you identify the plant a little bit. This is Chrysothamnus nauseosus. It's Chrysothamnus nauseosus, but nauseosus means foul smelling, you know. It doesn't smell that bad, but... You know, you can, it just helps you identify it when you crush it, you know.